China. I'll talk to everybody again. Whee! Hi. Hello, everybody. We are back. And uh, this week, we are talking about some Studio Donegal Soft because it's a lovely worsted tweedy yarn and we are coming into sweater season. So I thought I would tell you a little bit about this fabulous yarn that comes from uh, Kilcar, I believe, in Ireland. Yes, County Donegal, because I always say it wrong and someone's going to correct my pronunciation, I'm sure. Um, but it does come from Ireland. This is actually a merino wool that is spun in um, Ireland at uh, Studio Donegal. And um, it's a really fabulous, fabulous worsted. It's a two ply. It's um, approximately 210 yards. It's 190 meters, 100 grams. Um, knits up beautifully into anything that you might, okay, fine, here, take the yarn. Into anything that you might like. And apparently Ina really, really wanted to play with some yarn. You like that color better? Yeah. So if you haven't tried um, the Donegal before, it's beautiful stuff. Um, great tweed, beautiful tweed. And it's the kind of tweed that the little um, tidbits stay in the yarn. Your tweed bits will not fall out. Um, I know that there are some tweeds that are on the market um, that I have tested myself and knit with. And when you knit them and wash them, the little tweed bits fall out of those plies. And um, I have to say that the soft does not have that problem. Neither does the darnie, which we talked about last time, um, which is fabulous on a fingering weight. I mean, that never happens. But um, the tweed bits just really, uh, first they look fabulous. I don't know if you can see how fabulous the little tweed bits look in these mitts. Um, but they give those little little hints and pops of color, which are really nice. And uh, they stay put, which is fabulous. They don't fall out of the yarn. And there are lots and lots of colors to choose from in our soft worsted weight. Um, we have five brand new colors, which are actually these five colors right here. We have the Tide Pool, um, Ripe Wheat, Rowan berry, purple potatoes, and sedge. And sedge is my personal favorite. I might just have to, um, I might have to knit a sweater from this. I don't know, maybe you can tell me in the comments. Do you think I should knit a sweater from the sedge? Or do you think I should do it at a tide pool? I do really love this one too. It's similar to um, our sky colorway, but, um, but the typo is just this little touch of green to it that I just really, really love. What do you think, Ina? Do you like this one? Or do you like this one? What do you think? And of course, because this is merino, it is extra soft. Extra soft? Soft enough for baby skin? What do you think? You like that? Huh? Yeah, that. I know. You're popping my skeins loose. I'll have to fix that later. Um, it's fabulous for little things like cowls. Here, let's put a little tiny cowl on you. Nope, nope, nope. Ah, I got it. There, little cowls. Um, it looks great in hats. Ooh, let's put a big hat on you. I like putting hats on you. It's very funny to me. Oh, oh, no, no, you can't take that off yet. Oh, all right, fine. Um, it's really lovely for color work as well. This one actually incorporates some of the... <laughs> Aaron and the soft um, because the Aaron comes in smaller balls so you can take advantage of that for color work and a nice jaunty little pom-pom on top and uh, it's also great for bigger projects like I said sweaters it also looks nice um, in a worsted weight shawl so this is the Belle of Baltimore this is a nice worsted weight shawl oh sorry Ina did I ding you with fabric did I get you did I get you did I get you so uh, you can do lace with worsted weight and you can do a tweed shawl because yes you can. Uh, this one behind me also incorporates the soft and the Aran. So again, it takes advantage of the um, smaller yardage on the balls of Aran so that I can incorporate more colors into it. That one's the Tumalo. That one was a lot of fun. And then Tina designed um, this shrug that she calls 
and I'm going to butcher this one too, um, the Ben Goulden, I think, but it is um, a big Irish rock. That's what she keeps telling me. It's a big Irish rock. And she used, I believe, four skeins of the soft, um, two in one color and two in another color, and uh, made this big shrug that's kind of fun to wear. Should we put the shrug on the Ina? Should we put the shrug on the Ina? Ready? Oh, you swim in it, but you're so cute. Yeah, but you're so cute. And you're wearing purple. The purples go together today. Yeah, should we take this off? Here, take your little cowl off. There you go. This is, of course, a non-superwash. It is 100% wool, but it's not superwash. So it is the kind of project that you have to take care of. You can't just throw it in the washer and the dryer, unless you mean to felt it, then it's okay. But you can't just throw it in the washer and the dryer. Um, you do have to um, dry it flat, not in a dryer. Um, but I will say that a lot of times I put mine in the washer on delicate and I will let it spin out and then I lay my items out to dry and um, I haven't really had any issues with that. <laughs> so, can I have that back? Thank you. There we go. I really, really love the soft and I just really wanted to share it with all of you. We are actually having a sale. So if you're watching this between um, today and September 20th, 2019, we are having a 10% off sale on all of our worsteds at blacksheepfiberemporium.com and all you have to do is use the code Tina Sweater, and you can take 10% off of your worsted yarn purchase and that does include our soft um, tweed that I am showing you today. And Ina wanted to show you that I have been playing with the Perlovka again. <laughs> I know I've been playing with it. I'm sorry. What do you want? And also that Dreamlit shuttle. And I just, I thought that that um, color progression was really pretty in these um, ombre threads. And so I wanted to show you kind of what's happening. Oh yeah, you dropped the shuttle, but it didn't go away, did it? So here's a couple little samples of um, this orange that I just love the way that I get this color progression. I need to do a big piece in this and really see how the colors work. And I have to say, I'm really liking my Dreamlit shuttle. Um, I have struggled a little bit because I, I tend to use clovers. Oh, here. I tend to use clover shuttles and uh, they're a little bit smaller and they have a pick on the end and I keep trying to um, catch my hook on my thread because I'm not used to using a shuttle with a hook. And so that's taken a little bit of getting used to. Um, but I'm really enjoying my little Dreamlit. And um, I think Ina has had just about enough of this, so yes, you can play with my shuttle. Um, anyway, I have to say I, I do really like the way that the, the Perlovka thread is tatting up, and I've really enjoyed tatting with the Dreamlets. They probably hold as much as my Clover does. I can't say that they, they hold a ton of thread um, because they do have that post in the middle. But I like posted bobbin or posted shuttles, and so if you want a posted bobbin shuttle, then you're going to sacrifice um, some of the space that you would have on um, a moonlit, which doesn't have the bobbin and just has that post in it. Um, but I really, really like the shuttle. I've enjoyed tatting with it. Ina clearly wants one for her own. I know. Do you want that? And with any luck, we will turn you into a shuttle tatter yet. Uh, so anyway, just a, a quick little review of this soft, you know, um, it's great. It's great yarn. It's beautiful to knit with. It softens when you wash it even um, because it washes out some of the oils, um, those spinning oils they put on it at the mill. We have great colors. All of these colors are available. Yes. Yes. All of these colors are available. And um, I will go ahead and drop some links again in the comments so that you can find um, our worsted yarns and specifically that soft if you want to make a sweater. And don't forget, we have a coupon for 10% off through September 20th, 2019. And it's Tina Sweater. So I'll put that in the comments as well. All right. I know you have enough. Say bye, I know. You say bye. Maybe say bye. Bye. All right, that's good night. Yeah.